Welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty Betts, and joining me today is Drew Martin at Drew Martin Betts on Twitter. In this video, it's going to be a fun little video of the Houston Astros hit by pitch prop. Uh, the over under is well, it opened at 83 and a half, and now you have just informed me that it's eight down to 81. 81. Okay, so. What are your thoughts on just this situation, first of all? Sure, Minty. I mean, I guess from a, a sports betting per perspective here as a sports better, whenever there's like a prop bet mm -hmm. that comes out like this, interesting like this, it's going to catch people's attention. My first thought is always under right. because the public is going to look to be just betting overreact. it over. Yeah. And I think that that's part of the push here. Okay. Also, you know, we were talking in the green room here and a lot of smart guys, good sports bettors saying, you know, under. There was only, you know, three teams that got hit over, yeah. over 83 times. I'm one of those smart sports bettors that said um, under because I think, like, as hated and controversial as this team is, I just don't think – I think the motivation is going to be there for their opponents to just do better, to play better, and just instead of, I don't know, just injuring another player. I don't know, maybe just, just I didn't play sports, so maybe that's just how I think. Sure, sure. And actually, that, that speaks to the point of, of, you know, being here in Vegas for now, what, six, seven months, I've learned that uh, there's a lot of smart people in sports betting. Also, they're more analytically focused. And I try to be as much a analytics as possible, right. but still playing the game you learn that there's a competitive nature there. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the Houston Astros and what they were able to do. You know, knowing the pitches, how big of a deal that is in baseball is is astronomical. I mean, they're mm -hmm. swinging strike rate. This is, it was over a little over 5% in terms of the amount of times they swung and missed. Uh -huh. and, and, and there's Major League Baseball teams out there that were like 13%. Yeah. So it, it's more than double. It, it's just crazy in terms of how much of advantage that is. The other players know that. Mm -hmm. And looking back last year, you know, there were seven teams that got hit more than 80 times. So right. we're sitting there at 81 to be able to get a push or win on this, plus the fact, you, you know, uh, pitchers are, are going, you know, four, five, six innings now. You know, there's right. a lot less nine innings. So mm -hmm. when a starter's getting to the fifth, sixth inning, it, and he knows he got taken deep from them knowing the pitches in years past. Uh -huh. Just to think that he's going to put the ball in between the two numbers and that's how he's going to exit the game. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens a lot this year. Uh -huh. Also, the fact when you look at the Houston Astros roster, Minty, it's C Carlos Correa. You know, that, that, that video where he's kind of shaking his finger. Re reminded me of Rafael Palmeros, you yeah. know, just just. Out there, Altuve, you know, kind of the cockiness. Mm -hmm. uh, Bregman, you know, I, I believe LSU, you know. It, it's These guys are a little flashy, a little cocky to mm -hmm. say it. And I just think opposing pitchers, the bullpen, you know, these guys have a mentality to go after hitters. Mm -hmm. Yes, they'll be looking to strike them out, Minty, but I also think they're going to get their number of uh, hit-by-pitches. I like the over 81. The New York Mets last year, 95 times hit by a pitch. Uh -huh. We had Cincinnati Reds, 89 Oakland 87. Mm -hmm. You know, this is 81 with the Houston Astros. It's going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be the intentional on top of that. I think we actually put the 83 and a half to 81 mm -hmm. and use that to our advantage. Now, after this video, I'm going to go bet it personally over 81. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And you don't think that, I mean, because it was said that if they were intentionally hit by pitch or not intentionally, whatever, mm -hmm. um, that there would be repercussions. You don't think that a suspension or anything is going to deter them from doing that? A, 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 no, I mean, a, a <laughs> suspension to a pitcher, how long are you going to suspend yeah, him for? You yeah, know, five games, anyway. he's going to ro rotate back in anyway. Plus the fact, uh, I, I just think guys guys don't care as much about suspensions I anymore. Guess. It is what it is. And, and you know, you play in your division, what, 18, 19 games mm -hmm. against these teams. Those teams are going to be mad. Um, I do worry about this getting out of the way in 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 kind of spring training here. Mm -hmm. We've already seen it the last two days. You know, we're filming here on Wednesday. What the last two days, uh, two right. Houston Astros, we'll uh -huh. big name players have gotten hit. So I worry yeah. that it will get out of the way in spring training. Right. But um, I still think that there's more value on this over 81. Oh, okay. I'm still leaning the under, but we'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. $2 <laughs> Thank you, Tuesday. Lindsay. Every Tuesday, get the hottest handicappers best bet for just $2 at both wagertalk.com and our sister site, sportsmemo.com.